Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. Today I have a Keltec P17 pistol chambered in 22 long rifle. It is a 16 plus 1 magazine capacity and fully loaded with a completely full magazine and one in the chamber. It still weighs less than one pound. It's pretty thin and lightweight. The controls are pretty simple as ambidextrous safety and an ambidextrous mag release on the back part of the trigger guard. That is one thing that is nicely placed. However, I also have some concerns with it because depending on your grip, you may have to be careful of your thumb because you may partially activate it when you are firing and not meaning to. There's a Picatinny rail on the underside, which is pretty standard. It comes with a green fiber optic sight and a little red notch indicating when it is ready to shoot. And the slide release is right here on the pistol. This may look like a plate for an optic at first glance, but it's actually holding this metal piece to this rear section. Disassembly is easy as the little takedown lever that most things have now. The manual says to keep it in safe when taking it down and simply pull back, lift up. And that's all they want you to do as far as field stripping for maintenance and cleaning. As you can see, the spring remains retained there. You can unscrew that nut to remove the spring. And I saw that it is supposed to come with a tool to help with that, but mine did not, even though I did purchase this new. So I don't know if the shop just misplaced it when they opened it or not. And reinstalling the slide is just as easy as you saw already. Just put it back, all the way back, lower it back down, and you're good to go. The sight, the rear sight is adjustable with these little Allen key slots here and here, both of windage and height as a so-called gator grip pattern that Keltec calls it, but you know, it's just some grip. I don't think there's anything special about that. I bought it really as a range toy. And because I did not have a semi-auto 22 pistol, and I thought it would be fun and something I could use for further training, given the current ammo prices. One thing to note about the magazines is that some 22 magazines have something to help you load it. This does not. So it does get a little tiring on your fingers by the end of the day if you're going to reload it quite a bit. And that's definitely a disadvantage compared to other pistols that have an easy loading uh, lever on the side or tab. That just makes it a little bit more convenient. However, I assume they probably did it to try to keep it as thin as possible because this is a pretty thin and light pistol. But it is something to note because I know some people do get tired of loading 22s like this. However, it does not have sharp edges like some 22 mags that are metal here with metal feed lips since these are polymer. I only have 100 rounds or so in this. And it could be that it's in the break-in period and because it is new. But I did have a failure to feed in just about every magazine I ran through it. Now, that also could be the fact that 22 Long Rifle is notorious for not being up to the normal standard of other ammunition and often has problems cycling and the like. So unless I test it out more and it becomes very reliable, I would not bet my life on this. It is more of a range toy and something that is fun to plink with, but I am not really considering it a serious self-defense pistol at this point, not only because of the chambering of 22 long rifle, but also just the fact that right now it's not as reliable as I would hope. Now that could change, or if I find a different ammunition and after I shoot a few more hundred rounds, maybe this will be up to snuff and have no issues. Then I would at least feel more comfortable with it but as of right now, not so much. Anyways, that's all for today. 
Let me know if you have one of these or if you've tried it out. I know kel has some other 22 long rifle pistols that are out on the market that are more prevalent, but this is the one I picked up. It's handy, small, and pretty fun. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.